Hey, 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 do you know what time it is? It's another episode of our weekly market update. In this week's episode, I'm gonna share with you the recent stats so far for the month of January in Windsor SS County. Make sure you stick around to the end to find out what to expect if you're a buyer or seller in our local market. My name is Chris Tramatar, I'm a local realtor serving in Windsor SS County. We're all about helping families buying or selling a home or condo in Windsor SS County. We have helped many families locally as well as families relocate to Windsor SS County. If you ever need our help, please call or text the number below. Each week, we bring you the latest real estate market data for Windsor SS County. Here are the numbers. We had 258 homes were listed on MLS, 74 homes sold in the same time frame, 30 homes became expired, 92 homes became canceled listings, average sale price is just over $532,000, median sale price is just over $521,000, average date to sell a home is 38 days. If you're finding value, give us a like, it really makes a huge difference for us. Condo data are as follows. We had 33 condos were listed on MLS, five condos sold in the same time frame, five expired listings, 14 canceled listings. Our sale price is just over $277,000. Median sale price is $269,000. Average date to sell a condo is 87 days. Here's what happened with us this week. We saw a beautiful detached home in Lakeshore. It was five bedroom, three bathroom, raised ranch. We had a pool in the backyard, above ground pool. We had some special feature amenities, a hot tub and uh, there were four offers on offer date we had two of us were pretty close we were in a run-in and eventually the seller chose a cash offer 25k less than what we offer and that's what to expect because realistically a cash offer at a lower price some seller may accept that because it's a firm offer meaning that offer did not know conditions such as a home inspection a mortgage financing clause now to protect my client I put that clause in there knowing our situation some people may go and put a firm offer because their situation is probably better than us at the end of the day the homeowner choose the best offer based on their situation so as a buyer you may go through what I just shared and that what you could expect you could expect multiple offers you could expect clean and conditional offer beating your offer if you have conditions and there are offer dates and many times the seller would go with an offer which is a clean offer over a conditional offer although the price was better on our offer as a seller here's what we're saying you're gonna see offer dates you're gonna see multiple offers you're gonna see sometime a clean conditional cash offer, meaning no conditions such as a home inspection or mortgage financing clause. And you may receive an offer that's higher, but it has conditions in it. So that's where an experienced agent and yourself knowing your situation will have to make that choice. Mind you, make sure your house shows well, make sure it's in clean condition, turn key moving ready. And this is exactly what happened as I discussed previously with my bar. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts about our local real estate market. If you'd like for us to have you enemy, please contact us or leave a comment below. We will love to talk to you a little bit more your goals and how we can help you. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Have a great month. Talk to you soon. Bye now. See ya.